He was the man. A five-star quarterback at Dixie Heights High School and one of the top recruits in the class of 2011. Zeke Pike had letters from every top football program in the country. For so long, I've like tried to be the man, you know, yeah. like I tried to be the all-star quarterback, big time, big shot on campus. And, you know, really that got me nowhere. Nowhere has led Zeke back to high school, where he now gives speeches and warns students not to take his path. I remember I made that decision that day in seventh grade to take my first hit of marijuana. So I wish somebody would have told me when I took that hit of marijuana that day that it was going to take over my life for the next 10 years. His college career at Mighty Auburn crashed even before his freshman season. Louisville was the next stop for football and the next stop for further addiction. That's not me, I'm a football player. Like, pills, come on, it's not even an option. And here I am, like, eating these Xanax bars, five, six, seven, eight Xanax bars a day. Zeke's girlfriend and Louisville cheerleader, Danny Cogswell, lost her life to drugs. Then at his third collegiate stop at Murray State, Zeke says he nearly ended it all. And I put that nine millimeter hand gun to my head, and I remember my heart's like pounding out of my chest. I remember closing my eyes, and I'm saying, this is it. And as I'm getting ready to squeeze the trigger and put a bullet in my head, my phone rings. Zeke got arrested that night on four felonies and spent eight months in prison. Now he says he is clean and sober at age 23 and hoping for a new beginning. I miss football, you know, right. but my purpose is greater now. It's greater, and I, get, I have more joy from doing what I do now than anything football ever brought me. We caught up to Zeke speaking to the football team at Grant County High School. It's part of his new passion he calls number eight ministry. He and his father Mark plan to help those dealing with addiction and helping students avoid doing drugs in the first place. Because I hung out with losers, guys. I hung out with kids I thought were cool. And I became the biggest loser of them all. Zeke has taken his message from schools in Kentucky and to Alabama and stops in between. And perhaps for the first time, he can be the man in a different way. I don't have to do that anymore. Like, this is me, I'm free, you know, and um, I get so much joy from doing what I do now. And, you know, I don't have to hide anything. And it's just, it's a good feeling, it really is. Zeke is hoping to help anyone and everyone who will listen. If you go to our webpage, we'll have a link that will get you to Zeke and his number eight ministry. And I'm going to tweet that information out as well in just a while here. And you, you just have nothing but hope for this young man because it's going to be a daily battle. What a powerful story, though, and for kids to hear it from him. And let's be honest, you meet athletes, whether mm -hmm. it's in high school or the ones, some, some of them, you know, in the professional sports, they have these addictions and, you know, people just give them anything they want and they unfortunately go down that path. Yep, and that's what happened to Zeke. And I tell you, when he was talking to these students and these football players, you could hear a pin drop. I mean, he had their attention, and uh, hopefully they get the message. Well, he's young, and he's not that far removed from where exactly. they are, and that's a big deal. Exactly, and All it's right. never too late to turn that around. All right, George, thank you. Great.